student he is prakash and he has done his phd from isc bangalore and he has done his phd in instrumentation yeah instrumentation okay. and applied so i want that prakash must share his experience about isc and with us with you so that you can inspire yourself and uh, the best thing is that prakash is from very uh, basic background he is actually from the rural background yes. and he came to delhi he joined us and then he su get success and he get, he go to isc bangalore that is the most prestigious institute for the science so prakash over to you yes. so <laughs> prakash aap bata sakte ho so actually uh, if i can hear any one of you that will be very good so if you can ask something you can ask to prakash otherwise he will tell you can you hear hear me or and prakash too yes so actually i have joined uh, this physics institute uh, on 2000 exactly i don't remember it was 2015 so i came from kumau university that's in uh, and now yeah. actually before that i was in physics and i was running physics but now he is coming here to the pravega uh, so yes <laughs> so i have joined atul sir so that time i have learned uh, like quantum statistical and uh, uh, thermodynamics was that that topic i have learned from atul sir classical. yeah classical so this topics i have learned from uh, atul sir and it was fabulous after that i qualified for iit you uh, uh, like from uh, atul sir so after that qualifying for for iit i joined as an amtech student after that i joined iac as a phd scholar then now i have completed my phd it was a good experience even now i am using their notes and all even now today also i asked uh, like i went to the photo state and i asked atul sir notes <laughs> classical and quantum uh, it, that is a fabulous the sir teaches point to point and whatever they are that is going to come in your net exam that will be precisely only that much so it's very huge syllabus sir has uh, winded in a very small portion so that's a very good and it was a very good experience with sir so if you people are learning from atul sir that's the best thing i would say that's that's a wonderful thing and you alok have... sir is also with us he, he, oh, he yeah. was also teaching so alok mathematics. sir was also like uh, yes, yeah. he has taught us mathematical, mathematical physics, physics right mathematical right. physics and uh, if you go with a question to atul sir and uh, to alok sir they are very uh, the, they are very friendly especially alok sir if you talk to him he will be very friendly and he will explain you to the depth that person is next level and if you go and search his name in a google he has a wonderful research i mean you will not find any other person like them uh, exactly. like he he is a very big shot but he will uh, he is a very uh, down to earth person so if you are learning from these people you are in the best place i would say so this is why if you have any question i can i can answer you if you have any specific question you can answer Uh, he can answer or we can also discuss because it is very important that you have to get get inspired from the old student because they have all the uh, basically experience of a struggle and all this thing so if you have any type of answer a question you can ask otherwise you can any time any student of mine and alok sir can contact to him such that he can guide you yes. this is very important because Right now he is going to for postdoc. Yes, I am going for postdoc in US in Texas in a Rice University. Sir, yes. Sir, I am asking many years time because the syllabus of net and related topics is totally different from the small school. How can I manage that? See, see, precisely speaking, whatever sir is teaching you, that is more than enough for net exam. So. for me what sir has told me is like uh, you have just an example i am giving you if if you scan through your question paper uh, like for example sir is giving you 10 questions they usually take test in a week or during my time they used to take in 3 uh, weeks they will take test so you just precisely do one thing like for example they have given you one question so you learn that question nicely you have learned whatever like for an example how do you find the energy level of a ground state so you can find that energy so now you know that formula now you have four options also in that so in that four options they will give you something some uh, like for example some different different answers will be there so you have to learn about all those four options also now you that have covered important. yeah so you have covered lot of portions 
Now, if you go and uh, see the same type of question, you will be able to answer. So this is what you have to do. Now, the time management is like doing this, it won't take much time. And whatever sir is teaching you in the class, that is more than enough. You don't have to go and search quantum mechanics books or something. Even though you search also, you'll not get too much of knowledge. Whatever you are, whatever sir is teaching you, that is more than enough, I would say. More than enough for your academic, more than enough for your net exam. So that is what. I have qualified all those exams for physics, like net, gist, gate, all even those. TFR also I have qualified. Bark also I have qualified. So all those I have qualified by this exam, this notes only. There was no other exam like other than this, I guess. So I have qualified all this. So yeah. Yes. Uh, listen, this is what I can tell you. What you have to do, you have to dig your mind to solve the question. Yeah. You have to give time and uh, you have not behave like an ostrich. Because what ostrich do, ostrich always do when this storm will come, he just dig his head into the sand. So you have to face the problem. The real problem with the student is that they don't want to dig their head to solve the problem. And what I will suggest, I will suggest to you that you have to solve at least two questions every day. That must be unsolved questions. Yes. This is most important. Thing. Yes. Because most of the people are doing, they are just solving the solved question or watching and seeing the solution and they are just going to solve it. What you have to do, you have to solve the question by your own skill. Yes. This is, and what I am saying that whenever Prakash meet to me, in for the doubt session and uh, every time he always ask a new question sir i am just attempting this question i am not getting it yes and he is not coming here from the blind headed he came with the some idea sir i am using this idea but i am not get it then i can just give one pinpoint okay prakash don't do this this is the wrong thing you have to go for this i think this is the best yes. method that you can in develop your interest into solving the problem yes so it is very important that at least two hour you have to sit on table and try to solve unsolved questions. Yes. And one more thing, like for example, uh, if, if uh, what I have done is like sir has given us one question, for example, any quantum mechanic question. So you will not be able to solve that question within one minute, like within three, four steps. You will have a five, ten steps. So once you have done that, you have just seen a step from like solution of what sir has given and you have solved that. So that doesn't mean that you know that answer. What you have done, you have just copied from somewhere exactly. and you have just done it. Now, you don't have to do it only once. You have to do that question around five, six times. So for me, I have done, I have revised that syllabus for around five times, I would say. So what do you have to do in, in once you have done one question paper, whatever sir has given, like for example, five questions. So you have solved five questions today. So leave that five question. You solve around 50 questions. Every day you solve two, three, five questions. Now after a week, you come back with the same questions and try to solve that. If for example, for the first time it has taken 10 steps, you, you should solve that within seven steps. And then you go to the uh, third time solving that same question. You, you should not skip any step. Like you will remember, right? What is the answer? But you should not skip any step. So you do it again five times. So for example, I'll say one simple example uh, that came in our exam. So that there is a formula called E is equal to N square pi some and a ground state energy level. So uh, there is a constant values in that. And later you have to just, uh, what we have done is while solving, 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 later we come up with a uh, value like E is equal to some constant uh, into or divided by lambda. So there was a formula which is related E is directly proportional or inversely proportional to lambda. But there was a big formula, n square pi 2 m a square, something was that. Yes. Yeah. So, so what we have done, we have reduced that values to a simple constant term. So that actually came in an exam. So that was for five marks. So if somebody is sitting in an exam and solving those constant values, that will take hell lot of time. So what we have done, while well, solving for three, four times, we came up with a conclusion that these are all constant parameters which we should not solve in an exam, sitting in an exam. We solved it here and the value came around 47. I still remember that. 47 was the exact value. 
47 lambda square by a square, something it was like that. So, so you remember this thing? Yeah. Still. So if, if you do it that many times, you will be able to solve that and make a constant value. Now you go to the exam, exam hall. People are solving the same question, but they are solving all those constant value. But you have the constant value perfectly matched. So now you'll get the answer exactly. So this is how you have to prepare. Most important thing is that what he want to say, he just want to say, whenever you are solving the problem, try to solve with the idea that how you will solve it into the examination. Yes. This is the most yes. important. Yes. So suppose this type of calculation will come into exam, then how you are going to solve it, either from the quantum mechanics or classical or statmech or EMT, any, yes. anything. So you have to always keep in your mind that there is a constraint in the examination. First constraint is the time constraint. And second constraint is the recalling of the formula. Yes. This is the second constraint. So every time whenever you are solving the question, first recall the formula, make a time, a lot of time and try to dig, try to push yourself so that you can solve that particular problem. So this type of practice, practicing at least three to four months, that means you are just managing or just you are training your mind so that you can give your 100% in, in that span of three hours during the exam lesson. Yes. So most important thing is that what you have to do, you have to train your mind. This is yes. very important. So if you have some formula, train your mind like how, how you can solve different questions with the same formula. So that is how I have done. And uh, frankly speaking, I have not qualified on the first attempt. I have also qualified on the second attempt. So frankly speaking, I gave my net exam on June also, but I qualified on December. After that, all the exams got on qualifying, qualifying. So when I came on... Uh, it is very obvious. Once you will cross the threshold, we all are physics students. Once you cross the th threshold, yeah, then you will done. achieve all the... Yeah, yeah, once you cross that, it's done. All your exams will be of same pattern, same questions. You will not uh, like feel like you have given an exam. It's done. You will just click it. You will just uh, tick it. So and that's uh, all. Uh, Prakash is from Uttarakhand. So from your, his accent, I am very surprised that his accent is absolutely from the Karnataka. And yeah, actually I have studied in uh, <laughs> Bangalore. So, so it's been uh, five years. <laughs> so your accent is dramatically changing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sir, yes. Listen, interview preparation is very simple. They will not ask you very high level question, whatever you have learned into the class, how you are going to explain it, that is the part of it. Nothing else. Is that yeah. Right? So I'll just give you an example of an interview which I gave. So for example, uh, uh, just tell me the IAC interview. That yeah, IAC interview, interview was a simple interview, like uh, there, there is a Michelson interferometer something. Hmm. So uh, in Michelson interferometer, there is a, a plate which you add on. So they just told me, what if you uh, replace this quartz plate with some wooden plate? So that is how you, uh, that is how they ask questions. So for example, one more question they ask is, uh, in uh, classical, uh, classical mechanics, you write uh, momentum as P is equal to H by lambda. So can you write this in a vector form? So, and uh, in a quantum mechanics form, quantum form. So all these questions they will ask, but it's very easy to write in a ma matrix form and all. So like this, all these simple, simple questions, like uh, if you have a Jablonski diagram, so what, ha why, why, uh, why it doesn't fall from a, gra why it always form fall from a ground state of a first excited state? Why don't it jump from directly from upper one? So it's simple, simple, simple questions, like uh, more questions if you want to ask, like uh, these are three questions which are. Uh, what? For Bark and DRDO, they are same yeah, type of questions. This is one of the questions like momentum one which was given in Bark. And there was one more question from BRC. So uh, in, in this quantum mechanics, you might have heard of a quantum well. Correct, no? Yes, they, have, they haven't read. So quantum, quantum right? well from 0 to A, it has a ground state energy like that. It has a long formula and all, everything is there. Now what they have told, like consider you have five particle in a ground state, what will be the energy in a well? So this is first question. Now they changed it. Consider that it is not in a well. It is in a ring of dimension. Uh, outer ring is a, B, inner ring is A. Now they are in a ring. The, their particle is placed in a ring. 
So what will be the ground state? So it's 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 a simple thing. I mean, it's very simple. Like they are using a uh, dimension there. There you have to use radius and all. So it's very simple. But you have to think, and they don't see what answer you have given, how you are approaching the question. Exactly. That is very important. Like for example, in this case also, how you will approach? Like you have a quantum well, so the shape is a quantum well. That is a ring. So the uh, shape is a ring. So you will take uh, what here you have taken the uh, distance like a. So but there you will have to take radius. So that is how you approach. So for the interview, uh, there are a lot of things is there. We will talk about this thing into for the interview. But right now, I just uh, want to tell you that uh, you have to be very confident and give yourself to the hundred percent. And the basic background is not going to matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't it matter. really doesn't so, matter. A lot of people are asking, sir, I am coming from very small villages and... Uh, <laughs> I am very, of... I am from very so, small villages. So basic background is not matter. What matters is how you approach the exam, how you prepare the exam. This is very important. And one of the very interesting thing is that Prakash have done his master's in physics. Yeah, I have. And M Tech in? Opto electronics. Opto electronics. And he is doing... He has done his PhD in? Uh, that is an instrumentation. That is an instrumentation. That is purely engineering. Yeah, that is an engineering. So, so, look at the thing. Look at the thing. The person who is coming from the very basic village background, from the masters, he go to the MTech and he skill himself and he take the exposure of IIT and finally he just change himself to the, uh, basically in the in engineering department. Yes. And this is the way, and now you are going for postdoc for same thing or something else? So, I have done my master's, first master on physics. Second, it was on uh, engineering. It is an Amtech, so I will consider that as an engineer. Mm -hmm. Then I went to uh, uh, engineering. Again, PhD is in engineering, but mostly it was uh, bio part also was there. So, it is all interdisciplinary. Now, I am going for postdoc in department of chemistry. That's so <laughs> So look so, at so. You, you can end up anywhere, but at the end of the day, you should you should explore what uh, you can give to the science. So that's all. And uh, one thing I always tell you, right now you are seeing the very uh, successful person. So I have seen him when he was struggling. So when he was struggling, he never be get downhearted. He always try to learn. Yes. So learning is the most important thing, yes. isn't it, Prakash? Yes, yes that's So true. at the any age of life, if you will lose the habit of learning, that means your downfall will start. One, but if you are just going to learn again, learn again, learn again, that means you are successful. Yes, that's isn't true. it? That's true. And so, if you get demotivated, uh, come to Atul <laughs> because there was a time when I was also demotivated and uh, like he, uh, he will scold you and all, but at the end of the day, you will get beneficial, like you will be benefited. <laughs> so, so there was a time when I was... Uh, also very important. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, I also cried and all, but uh, at the end of the day, see, I'm here. Actually, I'm talking to you people and you are asking me some questions. So I'm happy with that. So that is how it goes. You will be some, someday you will be here. Absolutely. And it will come, it will come. Absolutely. Like, uh, like nobody is going to stop it. Like you have to be here. You are here in this coaching means you will be here someday. Uh, so uh, just just go blindly, just, just give your exam. If you don't qualify for the first time, then next time you try. And after that also, if you don't qualify in that also, you will qualify one day with a good marks. There was a student who didn't qualify. She didn't qualify for first time, second time. Third time she gave, she was on uh, 38 rank. She came on 38 rank from the same coaching, my batch only. So there is there is always like somebody passed on the first stage, somebody passed on the second, I passed on the second stage. Some will pass on the third stage, but everybody will but pass. But if you will go for the consistent learning, then... Yeah. Yeah, you will you'll pass on one go. Like there were many students who just studied like whatever sir is teaching in the class and they will just revise that only. Then they qualified on the first stage. There were many students from our batch only. They qualified. So, it's okay, Prakash. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. And thank you for, I think this is a good session. Uh, okay, sorry, class me late ho gai. But, uh, okay, this is a good session. This is also very important that you should learn from the new star world also. These, uh, they are actually leaders Anna, in the field of sciences. So it is also very privileged me to meet the meet Prakash. Any old student when they came here, 
either they are successful not successful success and not successful is different parameter but if they are working on some field they are working positively for the society it's a really very privileged for me and this institute also thank you prakash okay thank you thank you thank you